All right, this is going to be a video relating to a gap play. And what we're going to discuss is what to do when a stock you bought for a gap doesn't gap higher. So some people in our chat room bought ACTC for a gap play. Personally, I didn't think it'd be a good gap play because of all this volume that's traded at prices that are a lot higher, meaning there's a lot of supply trapped up here. So you know that that supply is going to act as resistance on any gap attempt. Nonetheless, though, so it's gapping down just a little bit, and you need to decide, are you going to sell at a loss right at the open, or are you going to hold on and see if it's able to come back up and make an attempt to go green? What we're going to do to help us make that decision is use the five-minute chart one day five minute chart. This will show you all the volume from yesterday in five minute segments. And what you wanna do to determine if it's gonna potentially go green and get back above 12 cents, which is the break even level, I believe. You wanna see this five minute chart. Does a lot of volume come out in the first five minutes, meaning does a lot of supply get sold into the bid and cause it to dip to 11.6 and below 11.6, you can see that 11.6 is the key support. So you always kind of want to find where key intraday support is or was from the previous day. So on ACTC, if it goes below 11.6, I'm out of this one at a small loss. It didn't gap like you expected it to. And right away, just the bid support doesn't really look too good. So I'd be selling this one right now. That's just my personal opinion. So you just post it in chat, you know, I don't think it looks good personally just based on the level two action that I'm seeing. Got so much software running at once, I'm sorry, we're just having a little bit of a delay, but I'm sure it'll come back momentarily. Okay, sorry about that. So you can see it's doing exactly what we didn't want it to do. It, a lot of volume is coming out. You see within the first minute, two minutes of the day, we're already down here at 11.6. Level two just doesn't really look good. Not much bid support above 11 cents. We've only got one, two, three, four, five, six market makers above 11 cents. And we've got seven market makers at 12 cents or below. So just overall on a net net basis, this doesn't look good. So you know what, you'd sell right here. You know, you could have even gotten out of break even and you just cut your losses and you live to fight another day. So, you know, it's not the end of the world when a gap play doesn't gap like you expected it to. But the key is adjusting to your expectations. If you expected ACT, ACTC to gap and it didn't gap, the best thing you can do is just get out, in my opinion. When things don't go according to your plan, then you need to adjust your plan accordingly. The best way to do that, in my opinion, is just you're out right now at a, at a small, small 2% loss, and you've got the rest of the day to trade. So I just want to emphasize the fact that if you have an expectation that isn't met, you need to adjust right away. You can't just sit here all day and hope that ACTC then bounces. Because yesterday you bought this for a gap play, and then today you're letting it turn into a full-fledged day trade today. You know, it, And that just wasn't a part of your strategy, so it's just best not to let something like that happen. So hopefully people will find this video helpful as this is a very important lesson to master is what to do when a stock doesn't gap like you expected it to.